Click it. Click, click it. it. Click yeah. it. Yeah. And yeah. we <laughs> are live again on a Monday. Welcome on into another episode of the Whiskey Crusaders. I am Will. I'm Sarah. I'm Matt. We are joined today by the Whiskey Mountains herself. We are honored to have her presence. Uh, Matt, I, I wasn't listening earlier, but uh, I think I heard you say that we've been pronouncing her name wrong. Yep. The whole time. It's been great. We're good. Such great people. Now it's time to fix that problem, guys. It's time to fix that problem, is it? Yeah. How, what? Do you want me to remind you? <laughs> it's Audriana. Uh, Adriana? Yep. Yep. It's an off, uh, guys, not an A. It's an yeah. uh. Uh, yeah, we know. Uh, sound. Okay. As Whiskey oh, Wiggle put it, it's like odd Rihanna. Oh, there you go. That makes sense. <laughs> all right, now, now you've heard it. It's out there. Fix it. That's right. We're all sorry. We didn't know. We are going to be drinking peated. They are going to be drinking peated. <laughs> There's no we in this. You got a mouse in your pocket? A lot of us are going to be drinking. <laughs> Three of the four of us. Peated, finished whiskeys. And uh, the people that are drinking it are very excited to do so. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Not, so, let's get it to start. We'll be in great shape. What? While Matt's yeah. waiting for that to load up to get his uh, lovely little ad and see what it is this time. Sorry we're starting so late. We can blame it on Matt this time. You can. Um, yeah, totally. But it's okay. Oh, I got it. We got a home warranty one this time. A home warranty one. American Home Shield. All right. Oh, they suck. Oh, I'm sure they do, but that's that's the ad we got. All right, we got we got Ken from Scotch. I don't know if you want to check out Ken's channel. Please check out his. We got Jim Morris. Oops, whoop. Ben, ben Demon Hunter. I think just push crazy buttons. All right, we got the Lynx Cat. We got Donnie. Let's see. We got our buddy Wheels. How's it going? We got Mike Franklin. We got Tony Two Toes. We got Zofer. How's it going? Let's see here. Jason Coates. I know I saw Kilco in here earlier. Check out Kilco's channel. Scott Moody, Bourbon, how's it going? I got dental yeah. implants. <laughs> okay, sugar kitty. That's <laughs> that? One Lost Cause, Brent, how's it going? And there's the Whiskey Dick, how's it going, Bill? Good to see you in here. Spencer Mav, all right, let's see if we didn't miss anybody here. There's Brian P. Oh, there's Brian. Obviously, all right, and we got, let's see here, Brian Hunter. All righty, let's so we decided about a month ago, we sent these to her. Unfortunately, they also showed up in the, in the mail uh, a day late by FedEx. We're sorry. <laughs> but we are here. And now, although Sarah wasn't sorry that we missed it, but it's okay. <laughs> so I think if you want to talk about your channel about there, and uh, we'll go from there. Yeah. Um, I'm Whiskey Mountains. Basically, my jam is hiking. So I hike and drink. <laughs> uh, and, you know, I live in Utah, so... We're limited mm. in many ways, to say it nicely, but <laughs> we have really pretty outdoors. So that's how I'm kind of making up for my maybe lack of variety or lack of experience. So, but it's fun to like get outdoors and kind of show you all that with it. And also like just tasting how whiskeys are different outside. Although I've not taken a peated outside so well, there'll be plenty left over for tonight to take to take yeah. out there and try that out i'll have to do that <laughs> Absolutely. i recommend pouring tiny amounts baby pours yeah yeah that's yes. definitely my plan <laughs> that way yes. we have plenty to go back to on fresh palettes and you know because yep. we're going to kind of blow <laughs> your palate away right now yes yeah. that's true i feel like yeah. if i need it i will just be dead <laughs> Yeah, we'll be dead. yeah, baby pours and lots of water so you don't um, yeah. die. Exactly. This is the <laughs> choice. So we got cool runs. Our buddy Jason, the master drummer. How's it going, Jason? Good to see you in here. Donald Hi. Nets Whiskey. How's it going? He says you have LDS whiskey there. I'm sure that's really great stuff. <laughs> <laughs> they call that the, uh, that the Valley Tan. There is a Five Wives Vodka and a Polygamy Porter. I've heard so. of them, but I've not tried them. The people who do drink here also have a sense of humor. <laughs> As they must. I mean, you so, live in Utah. What yeah, else can you, you say? You got to. All right. So I'm going to have you guys start with this. We're going to get right into here. The, the Glenfiddich Fire and Cane, which is a rum cast and peated, which is a rare thing from Glenfiddich to even begin with. There's a buddy, Misty Whiskey Shits. How's it going? It's like I said, greatest name there in uh, YouTube over at Live Wire Whiskey. Check them out. All right. So I don't think you've had any of these before tonight, more than likely. I tried to get you stuff that was, because everything is peated, everything is finished, and ex exotic and exciting. So hopefully you enjoy all of these. 
Yeah, I don't, I have not had anything on the list that you sent me except for Sazerac Rye, which we're not pouring tonight. That's true. That's for a different night. That was Did mine a, possibly say Fred Kane? Yeah, probably. I wrote them very quickly. It says Fire Kane. It's probably Fred yours. Kane. Fire Fred. <laughs> hmm. Hey, ball, I was going. Bill just finished the film in the Glenfiddich IPA. That is a good one. The first of the uh, experimental series. This is being the number three in the experimental series. So, you know, you've got, oh, sorry, this is number four. Two is the double X, three is the ice wine finished uh, winter storm. This is the fourth one in the, in the series. And so this is in a rum cask? This is rum cask, correct? And peated, so, which is very exotic. So <laughs> they're going to be drinking their peated shit, and I'm going to be just drinking samples and trying to empty bottles. Woo! So it's going to be a lot of random. I have to shit. come back and get them because we run out, so it's all good. I actually had a random question. Ask any questions you like. This is a very random one, though, because y'all clearly go through a lot of sample bottles. How do you clean them so that when you now refill them, like you can be sure? It, just water. Since you have peat, you just use water. Mm -hmm. Hot water. water. Yeah. Okay. Just That's water because I don't. I don't. You don't want to put soap in them. If you start putting soap in them, you're gonna get you're gonna get stuff left in and residue, and you don't want to use soap. You always right. I just use water. Yeah. Okay. Cool. You okay. Know, you let them soak and then let them air dry, and you're good. I told you it was really random and not like. No, it's important. It's still whiskey related. So, exactly. Yeah. It's a different kind of experience. You can ask any questions you want. We don't care. We're so open. Currently, I'm starting right. with some Joe Mag Triple Cast Batch mm. 26. Dang, you got some oh, samples out there. Magnus? Right. Empty. Yeah, it wasn't a lot also, of Carolina Whiskey Girls in the chat. She's on Instagram. If y'all have not checked out her Instagram, she's awesome and my best friend. So. Oh, well, awesome. Cheers. <laughs> Great to have you in here. The besties. Yeah. So I pretty much smell peat. <laughs> mm, this is the low end of the peat for the evening. That's why we started with this one. Yeah, it just smells like sweet peat. Yeah, which is exactly what it is. The sweet peat, exactly. But it's taste. Are you going to save some of these for your husband or is he just shut of luck? No, nah, he'll, he'll get to have some. That's, oh. It helps out that I'm doing very tiny pours. Let's see, he'll, oh. be, he'll be very happy about that then. This one's super chill. This one is so sweet to me. I'm it is very that, sweet. Yeah. That rum cask, like it's getting like, it made mm -hmm. me do the tart sensation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it was, I think it was off of the sweetness. It's just, woo. I feel exactly what you're talking about, like where it's right here and like the, yeah. like the back of the tongue kind of thing is where yeah, like that's very effervescent. But it's just like a very, I don't know, it's, it's not something that I sip and go like, Oh whoa! You know this intense flavor is freaking me out, sort of. So I can yeah. see what you mean that it's on the lower peat level, that it's not crazy. Oh yes, and there's our buddy, there's Shayla over at Whiskey Center. Well, that didn't last Shayla, long. Shayla, check no. out. She'll be with us on June twenty-eighth. Lots more peated whiskeys. So I sent her a ton of them as well. <laughs> it what will be are you doing to me, Matt? Hey, it's not my fault. These ladies love their peated whiskeys. It's the way it goes. What's funny is I don't like, like very, I think, I'm really not that familiar with scotch. I think what I don't generally like is that strong malt flavor. And mm. I think the reason I tend towards peat is because is it's like more savory and it, it kind of hides the malt flavor. Yeah. yeah. I totally get that completely. And see, I don't mind the malt. I don't like yeah. it. So I assume you do not like monkey shoulder then? No. Okay. No. Kind of what I figured. Yeah. There's Donald Rand, so a going oh. This one will take me a little longer to drink. Mm. I've already moved on to sample number two. You guys are slacking. <laughs> it's like a fruitiness, too. It, it yes. does. Mm. Right, like, like sweet and fruity. Yeah, lots of raisins and peaches. Yeah. It well, has a nice fruitiness mm -hmm. in it. True. I dig this. To begin with. Mm. So it kind of, I think it kind of gets highlighted and accentuated by that rum cask, but the rum cask to me just adds a little bit too much sweetness. Oh yeah. I probably cause I'm a bourbon drinker. I, I dig that. I, like the only rye that I really liked was the angels envy that's finished in a rum cask. Cause it's mm -hmm. so sweet and you don't get any of the rye. Um, it's like breakfast in a bottle though. It is. She probably like rye and rumbo from Oak and Eden even better. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh maybe. 
Yeah, I, I, I wish I'd known that. I would have sent you some of that too. We, we can always put another. Keep a track of my empties. How many okay. I'm having? That's fair. I'm drinking on Little Book Chapter Two now. Mm, that is I'm a, a note taker. <laughs> Oh, that's fine. Take so whatever you want. I'm also going to be taking notes. I'm like, oh, I like this one. That's a good yeah. idea. Yeah. That's a good thing to do. Uh, I, I would um, like to remind you, though, you can keep in mind, you could just go back and rewatch this and I watch know. your facial reactions and go, oh, okay, that one's one I like. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just I know. Thought. I clearly do. That's the yeah. reason why we recording these, you know, was so that, you know, we could have our tasting notes documented. That was the whole kind of point of starting the whole YouTube channel was uh, me and Matt wanted to taste through his collection but you know i want to be able to see it later i want to be able to know what yeah. i said about it it'll be yeah. many years from now we'll yeah. be able to remember if i drank it so i can right. go through the list and see we already oh, yeah. have a hard enough time with that huh we already have enough hard to remember what the hell we drank at this point that's yeah. why it's all it's all down there now it's thank out god. there it's, it's, otherwise it's like psh, i don't know i'm like do we review this yet oh good thank god we did i can write this down that's why that's I keep this little notebook for all my notes on random whiskeys. See, that's, that's awesome. And apparently your friend also enjoys this. So, see? That's oh, awesome. Oh, sweet. Corrine. Or Karin. Whatever. What's the next one, Matt? Um, next one I have you guys do. All right. Next one we're going to do is the distiller's edition here of the Dow Winnie, which is the highest distillery in Scotland. Oh, this, is, this is actually 2015. It's still 98. So this is a 17 year in front of the standard 15 year. So uh, do nice. I need to pour this in a new glass or is this still okay? Um, I'd probably put some water in there or a new glass up to you though. I use bubble water to rinse and then I just kind of clean my glass as I go. I keep a second glass just as a, as an in case, yeah, that's it. but mm -hmm. you know, you, you got a whole bunch of glassware, get a whole bunch of glassware dirty. Yeah. It's whatever. Yeah, you want I, mean, I think we have a bunch of glasses, but I just kind of want to, Especially if I get into some heavily peated ones, I don't want to. Oh, they're going to get way up there. Yeah, so that's why I'm thinking like I need to save some of the clean glassware for that. Plus, at the end, you're going to want to combine it all, which is even better. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay, cool. So this is Oloroso finished. It's significantly darker than the regular Dow Winnie, but it's a really nice, beautiful cover. Yeah, this is a distiller's edition. Actually, I gave you four different distiller's editions to say, hey, tea green has a good, good to see in there. Hopefully, sometime in the future, we'll actually get together in person again, which would be great. Speaking of in person, so I was up at Iron Roots on Friday with our buddies, the Licorice Brothers, and I met up with Scott and Bart from Scotch Just Dummy. So, always a great time to hang out with those guys. But yeah, I couldn't really announce that ahead of time because it's a private thing. So, but now I can tell you guys after the fact. But we had a blast up there. So always a great, I always hang out with Marsha and John, Robert and Jonathan, uh, brought a bunch of different whiskeys to share with them. Had a great day up there, though. Very nice. There's our buddy Eric Waite. How's it going? Good to see you, Eric. I, I agree that Eric says that from this day forward, Monday will be called Bacon Day. That's the worst day. day. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Day of the Lord. Oh. Had Nick gotten out of work sooner, he was going to make bacon, but he got out of work too late. <laughs> That's what it is. It's all good. Uh, Adam, actually, we're going to do the distillers edition of that here in a few minutes. So I, when we get to that, I will tell you what I think of Open 14. We'll be there in a few minutes. Yeah, All right, so we're we'll getting out of this one. So this one's a bit lighter on the smoke. Okay. But it's just a, but it's got this nice heavy sherry on it that I really enjoy, especially for you know this thing was not it's like seventy six. I got this several years ago at this point. It's a fifteen bottling, but you'll find a lot of my bottlings are going to be older because <laughs> I've just been this collecting. Has a much more of of That's the amazing. berries. Yes. <sighs> Yeah, me, I could actually smell the sugary sweetness, and on this one, I'm getting a lot more berries, a lot more berry sweetness. Yeah, even berries and berries. Well. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah, like on the sweet side of the berries, as opposed to like a tart strawberry. Yeah, mm -hmm. like that sweeter, almost like overripened strawberry or like raspberry, maybe. Uh huh. Absolutely. Oh, I'm getting almost like a, a Greek yogurt vibe. Now all I'm getting is raspberry. <laughs> Oh, so delicious. Yeah, I find a lot of people that are not really into peat really enjoy this one as well. Can get them right. it. These work really well. This one and the regular, uh, that one fifteen, both seem to work really perfect. But that nice sherry sweetness on there is really nice and great. Yeah. I really like this whiskey. 
this one's almost grapey. Like I would almost like literally describe this as, yeah. as, as like a, a, 46. Yeah, 44. Mm -hmm. Kind of finishing to it. It's funny because when you say that, I was just thinking about how it's almost like, like water sounds like I'm saying it's super bland, but more like, like when you bite into a grape, except I was thinking more along the lines of like a green grape, but like, and you just get like the burst of juice as opposed to like grape mm -hmm. juice in a bottle, which I don't like, but that like burst of juice where it's like water, but like the sweet and the tart and everything going on. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting any of the, the smoke at all in the palate. I mean, you barely either. really smell anything on the nose. Just let Sarah smell it. There, there's your solution. <laughs> What's your what's your peat level? You'll find that peat gauge. It's very low, but it's there. Yeah, it's very low. It's not hot. Yeah. <laughs> it's not for her though. Now Andrew Page doesn't like that one, but apparently does like this one. Oh, okay. So that was another so are other Dow Winnies peated or is do they have they're, like they're all peated. And, okay, gotcha. Yeah, they're so, just low smoky peat. They're not a high peat concentrate at all. They just they've always had peat in their blend. Gotcha. In, in it, but um, yeah. So, if a distillery makes peated whiskey, do they normally like they make peated, and other distilleries make non-peated? Well, I, a lot of times they make both. They okay. just it depends on the time of year, depends on what the season is. So it just a lot of them usually be like 80, 20 to be honest, and then some are a hundred percent. But most right. it's it's a combination. Oh, okay. right. I guess because you hear like Ardbeg, Laphroaig, and think yeah, well, yeah, it's all peated. So yeah, those guys are different. Yeah. But on that same island, you have Brook Lottie, who mm -hmm. has well, the several. most heavily peated whiskey in the world, and mm -hmm. also a completely unpeated line that they do. Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, they, they go the, the full gambit of things. And then you have places like Oban, that's mostly unpeated. And then they have their, you know, their peat week. Uh, there's quite a few that do a peat week. Yeah. So, you know. Like, also, yeah, like for one week, they. Right, they like they're just kind of they dabble. Exactly. Yeah. We're, for this entire week, we're going to be putting up, uh, putting down peated barrels. So you know, whenever they're ready, we'll have that peated release. But you know, it's just, when it comes, it comes, it and goes, it goes. Just super limited sort of thing, since they only do it for a week or two. Yep. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Let's make one 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 week a year. I'll make peat, and they'll make some beautiful magical whiskey during that one week. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Yeah. Well, some of them make enough during that one week that it really can last an entire year. Yeah, last whole year. Yeah. Do you like it? Uh, but some yeah. of them, you know, can't. So it's right. just. Hello, yeah. Phoenix Rising. Y yes, uh, OG Brick. Octomore is the most peated. Yeah, in fact, we just reviewed that one what, last week. The Octomore 8.3, which is a 309 ppm, world's most heavily peated whiskey ever. Uh, I tell you what, it's not the smokiest whiskey ever, though. No, that's a different story, but it's the highest, most peated. Um, I do like the Coila in there, unpeated. Now, I do agree. Coila's got some unpeated that are really magical. That's no doubt about that. Yep. Oh, Eric's got an unpeated Dow Winnie. Oh, that's cool. Interesting. I've not Signed seen it. Signed by unpeated. the Master Distiller. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Which one is that, Eric? I've not seen that one. I'm guessing it's probably when you got overseas, more than likely. Knowing Eric. All right, let's go on to, let's see here. Let's do, all right, so speaking of Oban, this is the Oban Distillers Edition, and this is in a Monticello Fino cask, so it's a very not, different, totally Oban different type of shares. This is also the Distillers Edition, and this one is a 14 year, this is from 2017. And so this is a highland that's on the west coast of Scotland, so... I'm interested to see what you think of this one. And they only have two stills because they can't get any bigger because they basically built into the side of the mountain. And that's that. Oh. The whole city is basically built around this distillery, which is pretty cool. cool. But yeah, this is my this is my favorite standard of the of all the ovens is this one. There's our buddy India. How's it going? Oh man, you just got recovered from COVID? Well, I'm glad to hear you recovered. It's your birthday. Well, happy birthday. Happy belated birthday. And that you got better. No, this is for your brother. Good morning. Sorry. I'm happy. Old Taylor for 19 bucks. That is a good whiskey. Yeah. There you go. You can see Harry kind of in the corner here. 
Weasley would move. If Weasley All would right. allow it. Yeah, yeah there he is. Donner Pass wants to know, is guessing the ones that do repeat run once you drive for the annual maintenance cycle? You are correct. Otherwise, as we found with a lot of the ones that say they're unpeated, like Hazelbird and stuff, or Glen, or uh, some of those, and or Glen Scotia's even, you'll have it where, yeah, there's still peat left in those lines, and it's definitely in the spirit safe and everything else. And Zeta, we're looking for Harry. Oh. Trying to. Oh, Hello, Harry. You have to come closer, Harry. Yeah, there you go. It was. <laughs> you just, you just get the head. <laughs> it's very camper shy. Mm hmm. He's very everything shy, really. Mm -hmm. He he really only cares about me and William. Ooh, oh, it smells so good. Now this one, the peat's actually starting to come through a little bit more on the nose. Yes, but still not like a lot. It, yeah, it's still a, yeah. not not band aid. Uh, no, I'm getting more of like than earth. I'm getting more of like a mushroom funk. Mm hmm. Maybe a, like a like a smoke, but it's just a whiff. Almost like the next day after putting out the campfire kind of thing. Yes. Like, I don't want to smell it. I don't want to smell it. We just need to know levels from you. We, yeah, we need your gauge. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's, it's a little bit worse than the one before. Oh, this could be so fun. Look, I thought of a new video. We could see what, how much we're going to have the video of Sarah Gage's Pete. That could be very entertaining for us. Right? <laughs> what a great idea. On her face is where the, the gauge goes. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's like that, it's like that pain chart you have yes. at the doctor's office. Like, <laughs> exactly. We'll just take successive pictures of Sarah, the, the pain she feels on spelling Pete. It'll be awesome. <laughs> that's hilarious. And then we're going to do another live of me and Sam just coming up with names for it. Exactly. It'd be like, oh, does the Sam Sarah also Pete hate Pete? Pete? Yes. Oh, yes. okay. Pete. Because Erica likes Pete, right? Yes, yes, she loves it. Okay. That's right. Speaking of Sam, we're going to be on on Sunday, uh, ladies' night, and um, joined by Teresa and well, Teresa's always there, but we're going to have yeah. Christina, the cult, the cult, uh, the priestess. I'm sorry, the high priestess, the high priestess of, of Pete, Pete on. Um, we are going to well, they are going to be celebrating the upcoming uh, Ard Big Day, and we're also going to be talking about mm. whiskeys we like to drink around a campfire. So. Sunday oh. night, 8 p.m. Central. I've got my smoky whiskeys, but they're not peated. Mm. Ready to go. So are you picking like, well, I guess you can't say what you're picking because that would defeat the point. But I got a couple of things. Toasted. There you go. <laughs> you can pick, the, you can pick the, uh, the rise. So speaking of rise, have you tried that Sazerac essential? Or are you saving that for a show to compare against the one you said you have and you don't like? I have not tried it yet. Okay. Have you tried any of those other ones at all yet? No. I'm Perfect. so the, Some of them, I'm probably going to be doing a celebration stream soon. Okay. And so some of them I know I'm saving for that. Awesome. Yeah, because I know some of those are quite good. Um, yes. so I'm, I'm, ex I'm really excited to see what you think of them. Yeah, some of them I'm really, really stoked for. So. Okay, I haven't tried this one yet. Huh. I'm going to save, I'm gonna save yeah. my thoughts until after you've tried it because I don't want to put things things into your head. It's really live right now. Okay, it's a distillery exclusive called Doni Lizzie's Dram Highlands. So, okay, that's why. Well, very cool. That's awesome. Someday we'll have to try that. It's oh. like, a, like a creamy, but like with something almost salty. I don't know how to explain this one. I, I, I think that's an accurate description of it. <laughs> I definitely got a salty briny. Oh, it's yeah, it's because it's hard on the coast. Uh, thank you, Donald, for dropping our whiskey and lipstick link below the man. in the chat. For anybody who's keeping track of me, I'm on sample number four. I've I, I just finished Little Book One. And now I'm drinking Little Book Three. I kind of did them out of order here a little bit because I didn't know I had all four. You do. Hello, old man Joe. How's I going? won't finish Little Book Four. I don't think. I don't know. That's a big pour. That's pretty big mm. pour. It gets it's spicier true. in the end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This yeah, one to me has the most ashy, um, mm. the most, it's, it's actually more of a campfire kind of a smoke, mm -hmm. but uh, it's more of like a campfire on the coast, right? Because I'm getting that sea salt air mm -hmm. mixed in with that, with that last night's campfire, definitely still on my clothes. And now I'm just kind of tasting it uh, yeah, yeah. In, in, the, in the morning's breakfast. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I th yeah, and that's kind of what I was thinking of. Like, yeah, it's like the next day's remnants sort of thing, as opposed to like that fresh, stronger ash smell. 
Mm. That's what that's what I'm getting on it. Well, Nick, hopefully the really special one that's in there, she'll like that rye. I really hope. If so, not, yes, you're getting a, a great rye. So, <laughs> so Nick's not big on the rye. No, Nick loves rye. He loves oh. rye. I sent, no, I guess it's you. Yeah, two really good ones besides the baby says. Okay. Like oh yeah, yeah. Rye. Yeah. You're not big on the rye. Yeah. Okay. I misread his comment there. Yeah. Maybe what I can do at some point is get him to the stream with me to do do it night samples. So, so I can't see the chat anymore because my computer was slowing down by having tabs open. <laughs> yeah, I only sent the regular rye to her for the Sazerac. I did not send the 18 year Saz because I don't own a bottle. Yeah. yeah, I we're thinking maybe my bottle is corked because of the. Yeah, I'm wondering. I'm hoping that's if that's the case. With the with the one I sent you, hopefully you'll like. I guess we shall yeah. see. We'll see. Hey, Ben Saul, how's <laughs> it going? Nick doesn't see? like our baby Saz, and he likes reds. So. Yeah, it's probably bad then. Yeah. Hello, Whiskey Samurai. If you checked out his channel, please check out Whiskey Samurai. Ooh, we, got, we have... Ooh, where'd it go? There. Ah. All right. Yay. Getting things kicked off here. Love watching people get interested in Pete. Everyone sub to Whiskey Mountains. Cheers, Chris. Always sharing. Thanks, Jason. We appreciate it. I have to grab my sword and shield. I moved it the other day. Cheers, Jason. Thanks, Why Jason. would you move it? I had to this week. I had stuff. I had to clean. I was cleaning my bar. And you clean the bar? Not very often. So. Why is this dancing? Thank you very much, Jason. All righty. Let's see here. Can't believe you cleaned the bar. I would like to. Andrew, this is the one I actually want to try. I have not tried it, but I know Barton Scott just reviewed it because they had it on. Um, Friday night, but we did not open it yet. So, but I think they've, I know they were, I know they were filming it either yesterday or today. So I think that's was today. So it will be out soon. All righty. So is it actually more common to finish a peat than to have an unfinished peat? Like I never realized how many finished peats um, there were until There's then. a lot of them. Yeah. yeah. And, and a lot, lot of them that just use different types of barrels throughout their entire maturation process. Mm -hmm. And so it's not necessarily finished in, but it could have, you know, part of the whiskey that you're drinking could have lived its entire life in, you know, second fill, third fill, fourth fill, sherry barrel, you know, bourbon barrels, bourbon even, barrel, I mean, you know, so, yeah. and, and some of the barrels that they're using are very, very low impact because they are fourth fill, fifth fill. Right. right. I agree with you, Mike. That Stellan yep. Rye was good. Yeah, Barton I'm not. Scott. I'm not a Rye fan. So I gave the remainder to Barton Scott, and they they enjoyed it. So they, they mm. actually did it today in a live. Nice. Yeah, I saw that they did that. Hello, Richie Z. How's it going? Good to see Live Wire Whiskey in here too. This is Mike and Adam's channel. Go check them out for sure. All right. Oh, nothing can be as bad as old tub. <laughs> yeah, I wonder. I guess not. The question is: Your baby says as bad as our old tub. That's Seriously, Ooh, that's a that's, that's a we actually just got our first old tub, and What's I don't like it, but I don't hate it. I think it's atrocious and should all be burned at the stake. Yeah. What do you? I was, I was thinking about that when when Nick brought it home. I was like, oh, this is that one that Whiskey Crusaders hates. I wonder if it's like their baby says, <laughs> or maybe y'all got the bad bottle. <laughs> what are your final thoughts on this one? This one I like. Okay, I liked the first one. Okay. Definitely more than this one. Okay. All right. Interesting. We shall see. Hey, yeah. you're, you're, you're really digging on the sweetness. Yeah, I think I like the sweet with the. Uh, this one was just like a weird combination for me, where it was like creamy salt, which is not two things I put together normally. So, a little bit of chapter four. There you go. You That's go check out shelters. Check them out. Oh, see here you go, whiskey wiggle. Oh, we're not just a Scotch channel. We are all whiskey channel. We review all kinds of whiskey. So, shoot, we, we're an everything alcoholic channel. At well, this that's point, true. We review Seriously, liqueurs as well. liqueur true. and then damn seltzer fucking drinks and then king, uh, 
canned what? crown. Canned oh, crown I shit. I have canned stuff for us to review. I forgot. Ooh, this, I guy, a. this guy makes us drink everything. But hey, yeah. the people want to know. me things like Optimor, so whatever he gets, I don't care. I don't care what he gives me. I'll drink whatever he asks me to Why? drink. See, the funny thing is that actually long term, the liqueurs do really, really well long term. They really in, do. In fact, that's our highest ranked uh, as far as number of views is the uh, Benedictine is now number one with over 3,000 views just for Benedictine, which is hilariously wow. funny. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You just have Benedictine know. for no. whatever reason. Aren't People most of them, though, just used for cocktails? A lot of them are used for cocktails. A lot so of them people yeah. need. Just depends on Most of them for. are, but I'm not going to lie. If you like sweet things, some of the ones that we come out and we say they're really sweet, mm -hmm. they'd be just good over some ice. Yeah. yeah. Type yeah. of thing. I did like your tequila rose one, and it took me back to college, and I was like, oh, man. I remember <laughs> loving back. tequila rose. <laughs> it took me back, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did, did you ever find that bottle in there? Yeah. I'm yeah. not opposed to this plant. I would review some sherry. We're going to actually review some Madeira soon. So I, really neat. I would love to go down that path, Matt. That sounds like a, a beautiful idea. Uh, well, actually, yes, we are. Um, Gabe's supposed to send us, send me the bottles, but uh, I don't know, hasn't come yet. So we, yes, we'll definitely be reviewing Dust and Dawn with Donnie with, for you. with the Madeira. Ooh, so who's next? What are we doing next? All right, so I'm gonna have you move over to the Talisker. This is a 2015 Distillers Edition. Nah. And this is an Amoroso finish. So this is a 10 year. We're doing this one before the one that starts with an L. Yep, because of the peat level. Benedictine over ice cream. You know, mm. I've also found a lot of the liqueurs would go good over ice cream or mixed <laughs> yes, into a, a, shake a shake of, of some, some sort. sort. Oh. Oh, especially that praline we had on Saturday. Ooh, that praline. Mm, yeah. I'm going to have to take mm. the rest of that and put it into um, a shake. Totally. I need to get some vanilla ice cream. I put it over here to send back to Matt. You, if you want, you better take it quick. I got some eggnog ice cream in there. I wonder how it would taste in that. It would be delicious with eggnog ice cream. Probably. I'm all for doing a, a course and ice cream. I think that'd be a great stream, at least for me and you, not for Will. Oh, Dude, let's head. do it. Let's do it. We'll just make we'll we'll just give Will some peat that night. Me and you will we'll, and you will drink. It'll be great. Okay, I'll I'll take oh, that deal. Okay, if I, I can not know that. Not do that, I'll take it. All right. So Eric says Amoroso is Oloroso with added PX. Okay, no, that's very cool. Thank you, Eric. I did not know that. I knew it was a type of sherry. I just wasn't sure that's how they made it. Very cool. Mm, yes, Talisker Hosty, and she loves Talisker. Your your girl here loves the Talisker as well. So I'm hopefully you do too. Yeah. Her favorite disc tours in Scotland. Very cool. Nice. Yeah, yeah, we went to Scotland right before the pandemic. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, I really want to go there, especially the Isle of Skye, which we actually will be coming out next week will be the review for mm -hmm. Tora Bay, which is the new distillery on Skye. Oh, I, I, I think that was at least her first time. It was her and her fiance that went, but very cool. Uh I bet it is. She's doing all right, Leo, so far. I think she's doing all right with it. She's doing better than me. <laughs> yeah, like, I enjoy it. I'm almost kind of like, where's more Pete? So to me, the, on the nose, the Pete's starting to kick up a little bit more, and mm -hmm. I'm getting we're, – now we're starting to dive into the wow. iodine territories. Mm -hmm. yeah. The good stuff. Just, just thinking about Talisker makes the smell memory come back. Yes, no. I mean, am I, am I out on a oh, – I don't want to smell it. I just told you I already got it. But I want you to. It's so much fun for the people. Oh, you picked up a Talker 57. Oh, God. oh, those are so good. Those are really, those are um, usually travel retail, the Talker 57 North. Those are delicious. I got a sample of that from Brad. That's over disgusting. At Cash Rank. I don't know no, if this is an actual thing that exists, but all I can think is like smoked butter. Sounds Ooh. delicious. Smoked butter. Awesome. Smoked yeah. butter. Sounds awesome. It's like this smells really good to me. Absolutely. Yeah, like you, you leave the you leave the the butter on the stove too long as you're cooking up some things, mm -hmm. and it turns like into the brown butter, which is what you want. But then you leave Definitely. it on a little bit longer than that. Yep. So yeah, that a little bit beyond, beyond caramelized. Yeah. <laughs> yep. We got Grandma and Gay over chocolate ice cream. Oh yeah. Hey, yes, we'll have please. Jason join us. We could have Jason do some liqueurs with us. That could be fun. Jason wants to do that. That could be a fun. Y'all need to do like a liqueur dessert stream. It would be. Oh, nice. I'm all for that. I do love them. <laughs> Sorry, see. Jason, for all your working out. <laughs> We're going to cancel that. <laughs> we, we do have a ball that's terrific. <laughs> exactly. You need that. 
Ah, we do have the cream de Cassius that is in the rotation to be reviewed. Oh no, if you said North got discontinued, boo. That shit's good. Oh, that's un that's unfortunate. <laughs> Kilko. You're making them one ice cream. Make sure you have some liqueur. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to know your reaction to this one because this one now we're starting to get into the heavier notes of the pea. Mm -hmm. And there, and there's not nearly as much sweetness on this one. Yeah, it's there. Yeah, like it's becoming more savory, but not like not the way like Ardbeg is, where it's like meat, you know. But it's certainly not sweet. I just don't know how to define. Mm -hmm. Bad kitty. I'm glad that was muted. So you like the talus oh. better than the oban? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Go make your own bacon. So <laughs> but the chef don't work. What is your order so far? We're we're at the fourth whiskey. I am winning. Yay! Oh. I'm gonna work tomorrow. All right. Oh. oh. And I would say B. Sorry. Uh, the first one we had is probably still in the first, the Fire and King. Okay. But this one is second. And then. Oh, right. That's a big uh, step. Uh, Talisker, I think, is third. And then Open is fourth. Okay. Like right now, of the four we've had. <laughs> so we've had Open, Talisker, Glenn Fittick, and the Dell Winnie. Oh, was it down? Yeah, Fire and Cane still in first. Do that in first. You want the Talisker or the Dalwini then? Well, then she said the Oban, right? Yeah, she said Oban was last. I think uh, Oban is last. Yeah. I think Talisker and then Dalwini. Yeah, okay. Perfect. Vegas uh, Arts wants to know what Talisker you're having. Just a regular? Distiller's edition. Distiller's edition. In Amoroso Cask. Mm hmm. What else is back here? No idea. Oh, there's fun stuff back there. Red breast. Cast drink. I would agree, Eric. The cream de cast is made from black currants. Tastes sort of like a cab stuff, you know, from a very warm region. Yes, it does. It is a def. Yeah, the reason I have the, the cream de cast is my mom. Oh, I liked yeah. it back in college. So I got a bottle while I was in college. So it's the same bottle. As most, as lots of my liqueurs come from my college <laughs> days. That we get to review. <laughs> Well, because most of them, yeah. you don't need more than a bottle in your lifetime of most of them. Yeah. Like, I know my, my grandparents' bottles of cream to meth are from the, they were from the 60s and 70s. That's fair. They still have those bottles. Yeah. You just don't need a lot of them. You put them in white Russian, right? Creme de meth? Um, not in a white, usually not for white Russians. Because white Russians, you're going to have cream and you're going to have usually um, vodkas and then Kahlua in That's white stuff Russians. I used to like, is it in a black Russian? No. My stepfather used to like creme de menthe, first, but I don't like it. Oh, it's good. It's it's a great minty drink. Yeah, I like mint. <laughs> but, I, but you would not put that in a white Russian. That would be okay. there. You have like a minty Russian then. Yeah. The grasshopper, yes, mm -hmm. absolutely in grasshoppers. Mm. Cream de menthe is great in a vanilla ice cream. Yes, they're white and green versions. They're both delicious. Problem is, I don't like mint. That's why I don't like a lot of rye. Mmm. Good I mean, Russian. Got to be white. <laughs> Only yeah, in Russian. <laughs> yes. Wait, what are we drinking right now? <laughs> oh, we're just, I was just finishing the towel. Scrab and moved on. Oh, my God. Am I even... so they, Eric thought you said cream to meth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We get that shit all the time down here in Texas. Mm -hmm. Lots of cream to meth here. Mm hmm. It's the good shit. Right. I, got a, I got a really good looking dump glass going. I'm excited oh, to try this thing later. This is my dump glass. <laughs> I am pushing the lot of ruling back just because the peat level. Okay, I'm gonna move you to Ben Rack, the twelve year, the three cask, the smoking, which is a bourbon, sherry, and marsala cask. So let's see what you think of this one. Okay. The smoking one. Okay. Glenn HP. And for anybody wondering why I'm not struggling to read the labels, it's because <laughs> now he just put a letter and then sent me a key, which is what I keep switching over and squinting at. Yes, we, finally, <laughs> we finally followed our instructions. It's such a good system, though. 
For you guys, it is. Will and Sarah don't get this luxury. No, no, we don't. I mean, I'm going back. Some of these samples that I'm going through tonight are from months and months ago. Even longer, some of them. And some of them, much longer than that. The the actual the handwriting hasn't changed. No, it's not going to get better. <laughs> what is William looking for? The Ben Rayek, the Smoky 12. Do you know what you wrote on here? I don't know. Ben Ray. What's the percentage? 46. Is it 11 or is it 12 here? 12. This might be it. It's starting with a B and it, it says 46. That's <laughs> probably it. Hello, Eric Stanley. How's it going? Is it the only one that starts with B? Mm, no. Oh. But there's art. Well, there's a black adder, but that was a way higher percentage. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No, I think we're good. Oh, we got a black adder coming. That's the last one of the night is the Black Adder. The pea oh, green. that makes me it's so excited. Because it's a, it's a uh, ten does year does, does those Do those words mean anything at all to you, Adriana? Absolutely nothing. I oh, know good. that place in there is so great. Oh, Wasn't good. I'm so happy that we get to introduce you to something that was introduced to me from Matt years and years ago now. Oh, isn't mm -hmm. that a snake? <laughs> Black Adder was a TV show. There is there is the Black Snake and the Red Snake Black Adders, though. Yeah, okay. okay. But yeah, there's, some of them do have a snake on the bottle. That's true. Okay. Well, yeah, I don't even know about the bottle. I just I hear adder and think snake. Hey, Pete. That's where I'm at. Uh, Pat. Oh. Not Pete. Pat. I was reading Pete Monster. <laughs> oh, wow. Pat from My Whiskey Den is in. Yes, check out My Whiskey Den, another great channel. Also, check yes, out indeed. Top Shelf as well, which is Dustin's channel. Him and Mike review exceedingly top shelf, awesome whiskeys all the time. Yeah, if we can get uh, Mod to drop both of those links in there for Hello, Tim, how's it going? people who aren't already following, do it. This is true, Jason Coates, and White Snake was a band. This is true. <laughs> Helpful. Have I missed? Has Ben, ben Stahl been in here the whole time? He's been there for a while. What's up, Ben? I'm in my own little world drinking my own little stuff here. <laughs> Everybody's talking about Pete in the chat, so I'm not interested. <laughs> yeah, Eric, wait, that's that's the secret. Exactly. I write on <laughs> no it with offense. my feet. Just for fun. Just screw with people because it's hilarious. No, I was I was kind to her and to uh, Shayla. I both I wrote them nice little keys so they yeah. didn't have to struggle. It's so much easier to read, y'all. It is. See, and I made the letters even it's nice on there. You can read the letters. It's all good. You big. Had a good run. <laughs> we had a real good run there for a while. Ooh. I get honey, a lot of honey. Yeah. I don't. Like it. <laughs> and I'm getting, I'm getting like beyond that, like even like a floral, like a honey suckle. Agree. <sighs> oh, there is still talk in the chat of old tub. <laughs> this is terrible. As as as. Uh, bourbon is correct. Top yes. Five worst Top bourbons five ever. worst yes, bourbons. It yes. It's awful. It's, it's it should be bourbon. used as. Uh, I think they should send it down to Jack Daniels to use it to make their make their maple uh, char because it's disgusting. This stuff is just awful. Mm. Why did you pull all of these out that have a whole lot? I was looking for like lower ones. So she's like, I'm, she's trying to give back the sample vials, and you keep giving her the ones that are full. All right, <laughs> here's one. That one's got barely any in it, but it's man, it's good. Red stuff. breast cast strength, 14 year batch A. Thanks, Andrew Page. This chat needs more cowboy. I mean, Pete. Oh yes, it does. <laughs> Thank you very Sample much. Sample number six. For this one, the Pete didn't kick in mm. until the finish for me. Yes, I'd agree. It's very, like you said, it's very sweet, honeysuckle. Ooh. And then there in the finish, you get this nice ashy peat on the yeah. finish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I kind of was like, eh, until the finish. And then that's when it got like interesting yep. kind of thing. It's, it's a fun one. Yeah, this is one of their newer things they've got out in the last year or so. Red breast. One of the things that got me into Irish. Yeah, it was. Before they changed it. I want peated red breast. That's what I want. I do too. I think they need to fix it because what they're currently doing sucks. Yeah. yeah. Like I'm disappointed and I see all these people that are making posts and like uh different groups Listen, that I'm in on Facebook and red breast and this red I, breast. They, they, they I, never had the old breast. They never I had the old red breast and I have to bite my tongue and be like, 
<laughs> Please keep biting your tongue, though. I will. don't want to shit on somebody that's not enjoying going. what they are putting out. Because if you do enjoy what they are putting out, you do enjoy what they are putting out. Right. I'm sure. not going to. So I haven't I, yet. I, I except for to you guys. Well, you're right. And, and you can to us. We accept it. We we appreciate it. Because even, I have but, a feeling the majority in here know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> like Jim apparently is not a fan of Johnny Walker Black. Don't blame you. It's it's not bad. Nothing special. It's not my favorite Johnny Walker. It was really worse than old, but it's not great. No, the, my favorite Johnny Walker is green. Has been green. Since the first time I tried it. I haven't tried a single one, including a lot of the special edition blues. Oh yeah! Don't forget to don't forget your sign. Yes, if we can get a uh, mod to drop Adriana's uh, YouTube link oh, in the chat again, <laughs> be sure you check her out. She has some uh, fucking cool stuff she's doing over there. And right. epic scenery. Yes, as she gives you these wonderful tasting notes. <laughs> but also watch the video. That's <laughs> right. The reason I got that. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Ben. We we are all becoming old bastards. That's what I'm it saying. Is. We are back old in my day, back back in my day. day. Yeah, breasts change their shit up. Honest. It's good. Bourbons are the same way. And you, you talk to the people, you know, mm -hmm. that got into bourbon before we did and got into these things before we did. And, oh. you know, we've never had the island one, Pat. I would like to try the island one, but we've only had the regular green. That's one of the few John Elkers I haven't actually had a chance to try. A lot of the older folks that are into bourbon and, you know, you talk to them, they're still stuck on their safe bourbons, though. A lot of them are, you know, they're, especially the they're makers the, guys, the Jack the, Daniels, the, the makers Jack, guys, yeah. the ones that are going for the handles, and they know what they like and they don't want to veer. So, and, and, and not only that, they couldn't possibly care less oh, that it, it maybe could have changed. Unless yeah. you're drinking Glyph Molecular. Oh God! You sh yes, Eric, that is the correct answer. Shit over Glyph. That that fucking business go out of business. Shit's horrible. I haven't tried that one. I'm not looking forward to it. Oh, don't worry. I have it just for you. What is it? Glyph. It's awful. Don't, fucking don't, don't tell her anything about it. Chemistry it made crap. What are we moving on to, Matt? Um, hold you on. Know. See here. So you're putting out yeah. more scotch. Uh, yes. The, the time. Yeah. If you want to watch great scotch channels, besides I was like scotch just dummies, scotch for dummies in this country that are mostly focuses like, you know, Aquavita, obviously. But yeah, you are going to deal with the time difference because them and Vin over in no nonsense. They're all in that side of the world. So, yeah, you're going to deal with a six, seven hour time difference depending on what time zone you're in. It's just part of the deal. You want to catch right. that super chat there? And I'm going to say she's already flown past the 500. I mean, she's, she's at 504. Past oh, God. She's at 504 now. Keep them coming, guys. There you go. <laughs> Thanks very much. Very sorry. Appreciate it. Granted, I don't know what you were at before, but you're over 500. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. You two kept being like, you're at 499, you're at 500, you're at 498. Yeah. Like, so oh, and, that shit. and at <laughs> every it. milestone, it's going to go through that. But when you get to 1,000, at, yeah. at 980, they start going through your list and culling and, and deleting then things from duplicates you. duplicates are the... Um, right. The the robot ones right. and you know yeah. they did it again at, at right around two thousand they did it again at like well, twenty two fifty and at our two thousand we were all ready to celebrate the two thousand and then it went down and we're like fuck it better get back up on two thousand right. before we have our celebration stream yeah, <laughs> yeah yep. and Ralphie is great and Ralphie's right the old shit's better hey Jen how's it going Aaron how's it going let's see it's, it's Jake says all right, let's see here. Let's... Jake Miller says he bought a bottle of Teeling and Irish was killed for me. It was a terrible choice for a pour, first pour that night. Which what bottle did you buy? I have yeah, to ask. Real. I'm assuming Glen Scotia. No. Uh, um, Highland. I'm going to do Highland Park. Then we'll, because okay. this one's a little right. Yeah, 46.8. This is the Highland Park. This is the Dark Origins. One of my favorite Highland Parks they ever made. It's the super fresh, you know, first fill sherry cast. It's green. way darker. I okay. love this whiskey. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's also discontinued, but it's freaking delicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, wonder, I have yeah, to say yeah. that last one, first sip, I was like, mm, but like, at, like the second sip was way better. And then I really like this. Awesome. Definitely one that really grew on me. Do you want to separate you cats? I'm interested. I, I always like to see people's first uh, approach on this Highland Park. Don't smell it through that thing. Put it in your glass. I, I can't. I do it every time. I'm like, I have to know before I. 
This oh, glass is one of those things. I never get a good thing. This way. Yeah, I'm with. Uh, I smell gun oil. Dang, like, they gun oil. They either. <laughs> they either. I can see that. Yeah, that smell as gun oil. Yeah. It's like gun oil and strawberries. <laughs> yeah, I I don't disagree with you. That that's a good note. <laughs> I'm with Andrew here. I haven't had a bad tealing. It's it's great stuff. Of course, I didn't drink the the tealing peated stuff. So black is amazing. my opinion of tealing, <laughs> but. I, I'm still I'm curious as to what he got. He might have gotten the grain, and I wouldn't base that necessarily on your Irish. Mm, most journey. bourbon people <laughs> like the grain. If the I don't know they have they said yet what's in the gut first yet? No. Mm -hmm. Where'd that go? Let's go. <laughs> right. Don't tell her how to live her life. That's right. Shut the fuck up. I'm just I saying, know. I have a glass in front of you that is specifically designed I'm to, impatient. to help funnel the smells to bad, your bad. nozzle area. Nozzle? Yes. Don't under when Nick puts on chapstick and walks into the living room, I'll sniff in the air and be like, Did you just put on key lime? <laughs> I don't need the glass. Nozzle. <laughs> Factory nozzle. You said whatever. fucking nozzle. I almost just breathe. I just, just gonna blow, blow Don't. a big old breath right I in the will, face. I will I used, smack you on camera. I know. That's why I didn't do it. I used to go to a gun range all the time with my dad, and that is all this is reminding me of is kind of like, which is like a very familiar, like, you know, homey smell to me kind of thing. Yes, absolutely. Like, Guns and whiskey, they are great. Just <laughs> always do guns before you do whiskey. Yeah, yeah. Make sure the, the order is correct. <laughs> what we always do is, is, is guns first, then whiskey. Yeah, and yet you have the, the axe throwing places down here that, that are BYOB. Which is, yeah, not smart at all. We so have them um, We have them here in Utah. I went with my lab axe throwing, and you could get beer. You can't it's BYOB, cool. but you can buy beer there. But they well, mark Utah, you Utah, so Utah, Utah can be it's, BYOB. It's 3-2. Yeah. Is it 3-2 beer, or are they actually serving you the real shit? Uh, I'm pretty sure it was pretty low. And yeah. you can only buy, I think, like three. Adult water, I heard. Yeah. You. It's fine. Yeah. It's piss water. Yes, the, yeah. old, the old John's Lane is definitely better. No doubt about it. This is all oil to me. This is Ooh, so very nice. He's mm -hmm. got going to pick out some, some Lafroy Select. There you go. Follow some Tanya Light Whiskey. Both good choices. Ooh. That's what I'm talking about. Tealing single that. bear barrel forty six no cork pop and it was just bland shortbread cookie grain. What happened to your bottle? Yeah, that doesn't sound like you sound like you got a bad bottle. Our bottle is delicious. Um, yeah, that doesn't no. Yes, I think yeah. If you got no cork pop, I'm wondering if something yeah well, you had a leak on it or something. Bad seal. Yeah. Yeah, it says yeah. That's not good at all. That stuff's delicious. Yeah, try another. Yeah, try it. The been repeated. Yes, exactly. So Space IP, exactly. The Venerate AP. Yeah, the Curiosus is freaking delicious. I, I will say this. If you ever open up a whiskey, and it really is bad, most places that you buy from are back. willing to exchange it for you. Or right. at, at, at minimum, exchange it for you. Yeah, exactly. And let you you know have another bottle of it to try because most of the time, they're going to send it back to their rep. Yeah, they're not. They're not going to have a loss either. Exactly, because their reps yeah. going to replace it because they don't want anybody to be dissatisfied in the process. Exactly. So you can't also, drink half a bottle and then take it back to your guy and say I don't like this shit. But honestly, if you taste something and you feel like it's just off or bad, and you bought it from a reputable salesperson, they will probably help you get a better. Yeah, I've never had that not happen. To be honest. Or if I haven't it. either. That's why I, I, I don't take anything back. Even if you didn't buy it there, by the way. Just want everybody to know that. <laughs> I hate them. Anyway, at the Wizard Academy, they drink whiskey and they throw axes and knives. Yes, they do. True. They do. This is true. Yes, yes, they do. Oh, yeah, you are. Well, what is the Wizard Academy? All right, so what do you think of the? So is this a good one or a bad one for you with gun oil? and? You must know what the Wizard Academy is. Oh, what is it? Yeah. It's uh, so the Wizard Academy is a marketing school down in Austin. 
Oh, and that's the whiskey is, types. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I didn't realize that's they what it was called. Whiskey marketing it's, school, it's and the, they have all sorts of other schools to go to. There, classes yeah. you can take. It's the okay. other side of the tribe. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I didn't realize that's what it was called. I was like Hogwarts. Like, what are we talking about? Here? Yeah. So <laughs> essentially, Matt, yeah. I got to empty six. Feels like it down there. I got to empty six of them. The rest of these have way too much in them Good for job. me to empty tonight, but. I'm going to pour Pete in all of them anyway. I'm moving on to Jameson Limited Reserve 18 year. Oh, wow. That's, that's so, a really old one. That's something like well over a year ago. Well, you know, I still have. Oh, I've right, already when we had no, wait, we could have Irish night with Jason. No, no, no. Because this has my handwriting. Yeah, that's on William's it. handwriting. Oh, so this so was, you're right. That's the old one. This is one from forever ago when we did, when we did it. Wow. Oh. Yeah, that's from like March of. 20. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In fact, that's when you were sick and didn't get to didn't get to do them. Me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. I think we're ready. Oh, it smells I'm not getting any of the heather that I typically park on this one, Matt. Butter. I like it because it's so dark. Just I know, but I typically it. enjoy Highland Park for the for that for that purple flower that I that mm. I always find in it. And I'm finding it in this one nope. really at all. I like it, though. That's well, the problem. I don't, I don't I've only read it. about Heather. I've never actually been around real Heather. So, Nor have I. Yeah. I can imagine. Like we're going to recognize it from these. I have a cousin named Heather. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that counts. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's move on to Glen Scotia. 18. Ooh. We got a, hey we got a big old age statement. We got a Glenn's person that can legally go out and party on their own. True. Depending hey there, Tommy. <laughs> he just called everybody queeps. Well, that's Hello. so for you. It is what it is. <laughs> we still like him. It's all good. He entertains me. That's what matters. Data Heather. Tough bitch. Yeah, heard that, Swami. Sounds about like my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Shots fired. Oh, there's a lot of them used to work at strip clubs, though. Years. That's why Wait, Heather, her name. Oh, Glen Scotia. G. Okay. Yes, close to us to 18. Hello, JD Bourbon Approach. Good to see you. From Slovakia. How's it going? <laughs> Not going to sniff it. Will's going to yell at me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you can still sniff it. It's fine. He can't do anything about it. I, I like automatically went to do it. And it was like, oh, no. hour boy. <laughs> Just tell him to fuck off. That's okay? true. <laughs> my wife tells me constantly, don't tell me how to live my life. Seriously. And I am. I am constantly trying to tell people what the fuck to do. I'm I older than you, damn am. it. Don't tell me how to live my life. <laughs> Respect she your will you. Ooh. <laughs> Mm, so this is a nice Campbelltown for you. Mm. Oh, oh I, nice like the, Irish. I like the nose on this a lot. I like this mm -hmm. one a lot. It's it's really especially and for the money, yeah, you can get these for under hundred like bucks, which is better. Tastes like so is this one that's actually something still made <laughs> available? Yes, this one is still made. You can still buy it. I don't it. want to smell it. That's I've got <laughs> I yeah, we're actually going to have them on either August or September. We'll have Glen Scotia on with us with uh, nice. with Ian, which is uh, their master distiller, so it'll be a blast. Campbelltown Funk and Pete, those are not two good mixtures. Good God. <laughs> Eric. My first last name was Eric. She had me eating poison mushrooms. I had to shoot my second wife. She wouldn't eat the mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't see it coming. Thank you, Eric. Uh, yeah, Dustin, it is here. You can find her 100. Can that be used as evidence against you in court? What they don't, what they don't know don't, won't hurt them. I just heard Nick laughing at the comment in the other oh, room yeah. because of the lag. <laughs> 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 I was like, what is he? Oh. <laughs> That's great. Oh, this is so good. Swami wants to know if you're actually of legal age to drink. I'm 33. No way. 33. I yeah. You were like 26 max. 
33. Oh, okay. I'll be, I'll be 34 in September. She's just just aging well. She's still a baby, though. It's, yes. it's, it's the Latina, okay? We just like <laughs> super well. <laughs> be 39 in November. Really? That hurts. Yeah. No, yeah. I 100% oh. would have never guessed that. The good news yeah. is that in a year, you can drink 40 year scotch. That's the good news. As long as you, as as long as you can find me one that's not peated. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> but then you have oh, to taste them all. <laughs> I like this one, man. I love mm -hmm. the smell. I haven't even tried it because I'm just enjoying the smell. Like the nose is really you like good. This. Okay, you have to put up whatever comment that just cracked up Sarah. No, no it, it was, was the cat. cat. Oh, it was the cat. Dang it. Yeah, I, we need to have two cameras. I was just about, I was like, you need a cat video. Like, we need, we need to have a cat cam, seriously, a GoPro on her collar or something. For like, real. she was just doing total team parkour, bouncing off of things. So I don't I mean, know what she's chasing. If I if I was 20, I would have a PhD at 21. That would be... Just means you're super smart. Freaky That's and all. creepy. <laughs> I would not be capable of normal social interaction. <laughs> Sure. The, beat, the beat doesn't someone. show up on the nose for me on this one like it shows mm -hmm. up on the palate. And it shows up as this growing smoke that just kind of starts billowing from the back of my palate. Mm -hmm. So good. Okay. I, this, is, this is phenomenal. This has been my favorite so far tonight. There. Mm -hmm. uh, this is almost a full bottle. Don't drink any of it. What the fuck is this? Vodka. No. <laughs> I put a brown marker in it. Oh. What does that say? What proof is this? Oh, this how it's so good. Insane. East the Elijah Craig. Does that say toasted barrel? Yeah, yeah, maybe so. This has such a long finish for 46%. Yeah, yeah Glen Scotia is phenomenal whiskey. It's what? really, really good shit. Bourbons. In fact, there are 25 that we had on the show last week. One just won best whiskey in the world. So mm -hmm. it was That's amazing. Good. Now, is that also peated or most of theirs? That one's unpeated. Okay. The, the 25 is unpeated. But it is amazing whiskey. It's like 48.8. Yeah, it's He's really, really good. Are they yeah, and I gave some to uh, Bart and Scott, and they both loved it. The people who you meet that aren't into scotch, is it that they don't like malt? Um, a lot of times I find that actually is the case. They don't like malt or they don't like sherry. But the funny, the funny thing is they, will find they do like peat, though. That's, like, that's exactly my experience because I'm feeling like I really like peat, but I don't like it whenever I can really get the malt. On yeah, the I've done some classes for some bars that I've taught at and that I found with a lot of the women, they really like peat, but they really hated Overly sherried, unpeated because the maltiness shows up so much. They really did not like that note. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Because I'm still trying to figure out what, like, I, don't, I mean, I don't know. I don't. Are you have just liking this one? Malt. Cheers, Eric. Yeah, Thanks like for hanging out for a bit. Hi, Eric. No, she said she likes this one. I killed a seventh one. Good job. What? Toughest Where are you box. ranking this one? Are you tasting the age like I am? Because uh, I can, I'm getting like the richness and the depth on this. Ooh. And it really this one's good shimmy. I like this one. This one, I think, just went in the first. All right. I'm I sure that Ford would be very happy to hear that. Nice. G? Yeah, Glen Scotia. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, you, we can do a whole Glen Scotia night. We've got, we got all their products. They're delicious. Special release At least the ones that come to the States. Mm, just a regular hedonism. Melissa Toss. Melissa Toss? Yes. I moved on to Compass Box. I just wrote down, enjoy this nose, shimmied. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because yeah, that works. You're, you're really going to want to go back on a fresh palette for these yeah. because right. you're how many in? Yeah. No, I'm already getting to that point where I'm Seven. like. I have I can't tell you anything about it except uh, okay. six in. Good or bad is all that really matters in the long run anyway. You're yeah. six in. So yeah, your your palette's probably about there. Yeah. Oh, she's, yep. she's eight in. What? I think me and Ben just became friends again. Yay. Because I'm drinking compass box. <laughs> oh, we still have I still have some samples over there with Ben's uh, labels on them. 
Mm, I do uh, love like Compass I, Box. I found Circus over there. Good. Oh, oh, I need to review that. It out for you. Don't finish it. We have to review it still. See, you keep on saying things like that, but then you keep on giving me samples and not telling me to grab those samples. So, uh, I we have a lot of whiskeys to review. <laughs> I know yeah. so much whiskey. I don't know how to spell this, but then I'm drinking the Hedism Felicitas. Felicitas. Well, that's the good one. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, it's one I, of the I, best grains I've had. You know, if I could read Matt's handwriting a little bit better <laughs> and tell which letters are in here to spell it, I would. But... <gasps> Sorry? We're not going to go down oh. to 43% before we jump all the way up to that. Oh, that was oh yeah, you're right. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. I got all this. I yeah, yeah. So, I, I yeah. A lot of Woolen, the Distillers Edition. What year is this one from? 2016 edition. So, let's oh. see what you think of Lager 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 Lager. Cast. Wow, that's got some squeak. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it this smells. One. I am going to smell this one. You should smell it too, just to make Will mad because it's fine. <laughs> yes. Does it smell? This, and was, it smells uh, this was my first birthday bottle. Was it really nice? Oh, really? Yeah, like this was the first oh, God, thing. Oh, God, I can smell like, it from here. Yeah, you can. Ooh, now we're getting into more the, the, the yeah, heavy can totally smell it out of the little bottle. There you go. Right on out of the. Yeah. <laughs> Both Dustin and you can practically stick it up in nostril. It's so tiny. Both Dustin and Ben are telling me to put this aside for uh, twenty to thirty minutes. Heard that. And uh, move on. To drink it later. So let's see what else I got here. There you go. Yeah, Ben, if you want to bring us some more circus, that would be amazing. Um, this is a uh, Booker's backyard barbecue. Don't mind if I do. Ooh. Yes, that is a delicious one. What year is that one? What year? What is that? Nineteen or twenty? That I repeat. Backyard barbecue was eighteen. Oh, okay, yeah, I was gonna say it was like I feel like it's older than twenty. Uh, yeah, it's not twenty. Two thousand eighteen, the second batch. Yeah, something like that. It smells like ham. Of course, I didn't finish it, but yet, so I don't know. I have most of that bottle anyway. It's all good. I'm a Booker's fan, so. Like Outside of that one from this year, was mm. it the second one? Wait, this year's only have one come out, right? 2020, Donald? sorry. 2020. Oh, 2020, yeah. Yeah, we haven't seen this year's here yet. It hasn't the come. second one of 20, yeah. I like this year's is an improvement on last year's. Past anything else. Last year's were disappointing. Yeah. Yeah, well, all, three, all three were okay to good. Yeah, they yeah, were not. It, it just... Amazing. It wasn't full on bookers. Like if you mixed them all, they then you'd got a, a standard what you would feel as a booker's product. But mm. yeah, you really have to mix them all to get mm -hmm. there. Oh well, we have pigskin, yeah. and I enjoy it, but it still doesn't fully remind me of bookers of the past. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe oh. they're just having a hard time with COVID. I don't know. Yeah, and this is finished in Pedro Jimenez, by the way. Oh, yeah. Granny's Batch was terrible. Granny's Batch. And what was it? Was it Teresa's Batch? Oh, yeah. also not I good. heard bad things about that one. Yeah. yeah. All if right. I'm on my phone, it's because I'm trying to read the chat every now and then. <laughs> Sorry. Y'all go back bad, to your kids. I derailed with the bourbon. Thank you. So on <laughs> this one. So on this one. It, now, have you gotten to the palate on this one yet? Are you no. Still on the nose? Okay. Because... The nose, the peat starts showing up a little bit more, but when you get to the palate, that's when you're going to start really feeling the Isla peat and, and the implications that that's going to bring to the party. If that's everything else we're drinking after the design. I was going to say, everything else from here on out is going to be pretty hardcore. Um, yeah. This does have some sweetness in there, but yeah, be okay. aware the palate is... Because it's funny, so on the nose, weird. the first note I get is like ham, but like... You know, like ham and slices where you cook it, and so you get kind of that caramelization sort of thing. Yeah, it's like that sweet with the ham. It's it's honey glazed. Yeah, exactly. Oh man, I love honey baked ham. <laughs> no, I'm just hungry. I do agree. Keep drinking Booker, so we can drink up twelve year Knob Creeks plus. Yes, please. Yes. Cheaper and better. You weren't supposed to say that part on the on the interwebs. You're supposed to keep that quiet. 
I'm pretty sure everybody on this chat already knows this. Say the quiet part out loud. Yeah, I mean, it's not like I'm going out searching right? for the bookers to buy oh. it. But... Right? It's so funny because on the front of the palette, I was like, oh, it's not as much as I was What expecting. is he talking about? As soon as I go to swallow, it's like, oh, oh, oh there it is. <laughs> Don't tell me how to live my life. I can't. I'm older than you. <laughs> oh, what the? So What's going good. on over there? Cat's fighting. Oh, one of them's chasing a fly. Hmm. I mean, it's really amusing, actually. What do you think? It's nice and sweet. But really it's good. such a cool experience. It's just like a really fun experience because it's like it just starts out like okay, and then mm -hmm. you go as, as it hits the back, and when you swallow, and then everything keeps following it after. Ooh, Keep are you through. getting that cooling menthol sensation on your palate now? Mm -hmm. Ooh, watch when you go into the Fashil Festival. Ooh, that's awesome mm. if you get to go. Very cool. Yeah, it, it like takes a while before that hits. To it's, me, that's what that's one of my favorite parts about the Lagavulin is that cooling mint that kind of finishes the palette mm -hmm. and leads into the finish that just kind of goes on for well days, really. Yeah, yeah. Um, the finish is just like a whole experience on its own. Some of these whiskeys you're really gonna wake up tasting tomorrow morning. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Which one? Which one is that? Uh, this is Lagavulin 16. The distillery. Which edition. year? This is a 2016. There yeah. you go. Uh, I've tasted. I, I actually did a what two or three year oh, side by it. side, and there's Ooh. not too much of a difference between the the gener the years, at least not for my palate. Batch B is only 59%. We haven't even gotten A here yet, let alone B. Yeah, I was just Seriously. responding to that, but I, I that's so weird that they would be having it at 59%. That's super low for them. That's really oh. low. ECBP? Yeah. I've had it. I got it. We actually like it though. But we haven't gotten B. we haven't gotten A or B here yet. Neither one showed up. So say what you will about Utah, but when it comes to these like Keep regular Quarterly yeah. releases, we get them. We're one of the first to get them at like with bookers, ECB. Probably because you don't get anything else. Exactly. So they're like, here you go. <laughs> You're on a schedule. And Heaven Hill gets a little love, but no Buffalo Trace for you. All right. So I'm going to need a small um, whiskey mule. Mule. In the morning is delicious. For bookers and Elijah <laughs> Hey, friend. <laughs> we'll trade you some Lagavulin. <laughs> hey, Brad. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> you have there my you Facebook. <laughs> there you go. Seriously. I agree, Ken. It smells like victory. You're correct. It does smell like victory. What you drink after killing the enemy? Peated whiskey. I dig that Most one. Covers up the dead body smell. <laughs> the peat. The burning flesh. Oh, cover fucking anything, <laughs> man. Are we moving on to the black? Yeah. Yes. Stop breathing. Hard bag black. <laughs> you might need to, you might this need to go. At 50.7%. This is the uh, committee release. Beautiful. Finish from New Zealand Pinot Noir casks. He just okay. told me I might need to go now. Because of That's, the breath. <laughs> things are going to get a little uh, Slightly stinky. offended. Wow. Yeah, see, that, Andrew, that hasn't shown up here yet either. The I really want to try the Lagavulin, the 11 year Nick Offerman. Nick Offerman. Is not on that here either. Unfortunately, still haven't seen that one. But thankfully, Eric did send us the original 11. Thank God. Night, Ben. Oh. I'll respond to your text when we're, when we're done, Ben. Good night, Ben. We're doing okay. Uh, you can fly with check bottles in your in your uh, bags. It's true, but you better pack them real well because those damn TSA assholes will break your shit like they did in freaking Gatlingburg. Thank God, Old Smokey sent me another bottle. Yeah, I mean, we haven't done much flying lately, so <laughs> yeah. The new uh, that new Stout Edition that the Guinness cask, Eric. But yeah, you sent us the original one, which is amazing. That demo we've never reviewed. We need to review that really soon, actually. Ooh, we should yeah. do that. On, we should we do can that review Sunday. that this coming. Sunday. Why don't you do that Sunday? Because I'm not doing reviews this Sunday. I'm this doing Sunday. a live stream. Hey, Keith, how's it going? <laughs> oh, 
Well, yeah, it's a pain in the ass. Usually, I just ship whiskey home. It's much safer. Mm. So, nice. yeah, I like mules. This one to know, me, it's awesome. This one to me, I'm actually starting to find more of those berries. I'm getting like a strawberry sweetness in here that I was not finding Ooh. on the last. You know, I'm getting this time. I'm getting Noxzema. Noxzema. Totally mm. getting like my grandmother's Noxzema now. My grandmother used to like bathe in Noxzema before bed. Pretty sure that's like an old person. No, I love that, that too. That Noxzema. Noxzema. It was like a face cream. Okay, yeah. I was gonna say, is that like a lotion type thing or something, right? It was, it was, it was like a yeah. face cream that you would put on, you'd leave it on for a little bit, and then you wash it off. It's like, it was like a cleanser or cleaner. Smell. Holy okay. shit. Oh man, seriously, yeah, I didn't even come here. <sighs> yeah, I don't like the nose on this. Mm. No? Mm -mm. Okay. What are you drinking? One who might like. I just wanted to pick something that was different and weird since it was Pinot Noir. And I mean, the nose does. I didn't like. I forgot who, but I didn't like somebody's nose at the beginning, and then I ended up loving that one. So yeah, so you know, yeah, you haven't tried it, you haven't tasted it yet. So. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes the nose can be deceiving. Absolutely. Yeah, sometimes, yeah, exactly that. Sometimes the nose is great and the mouth feels and the mouth's not, but other times it's the opposite and it's fantastic. Because I get like a like a waxiness on the nose. Yeah, I could see that, like candle wax, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, exactly. And it is just wax. And it's almost like a scented candle, it's just wax. Right, yeah. Hi Dozy. Want some bacon? Okay. Thank you. Oh Jesus! Okay. All right. Oh. I like so the palate right. a million times more than the nose. Cool. Oh, oh man, you God. like these, man? Maybe one time we'll need to do a long grow night. We should do a long grow night. Long grow. It's another beautiful, not for Sarah, but great for us. We can do the red series. I haven't even opened mine, but we can probably open them sometime soon. I'll be very excited for that. Ooh. I have a few of them, but they've never been opened. I, I have oh, never heard of going. long grow. Bye. Is it just a highly peated? Sure. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a heavily peated made at a spring bank. Okay. <laughs> I've heard of spring bank. It's it's from you guys. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Anything I've heard of as far as scotch is from watching y'all because otherwise it's like I don't really pay any attention. Perfect. Stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of fun stuff they make. And that like I said, I haven't I haven't even opened most of my long grows. They're just they're they're, they're hard one to get here, so I usually keep them closed, but when I do, they are amazing. Oh I'm trying to see if I'll like the note more now that I love the palette so much. See, that's amazing. I love it. Yeah, like I said, we're going to do a night. We're going to do um, a bunch of committee releases from Ardbeg, and that's going to be a fun night. These are all things Sarah's not looking forward to. That Me and Will are going to have a great time. Yes, I... They're great. I have so many. more sample bottles. <laughs> we have, it. I don't know, probably it's six or seven. At least sample more bottles, sample. Yeah. It's a good excuse. Hey, I got seven down tonight. It's a good job. Some of them are fairly... Fuller than I expected. Oh, it's all good. Empty now. <laughs> oh yes, I I agree. JD Burn and Press. Yeah, Hazel Burns, 12, 13, and four. Oh yeah, some of those wine cask finish Hazel Burns. Oh, they're so good. So the Barolo good. cask. Oh, the Oloroso. Oh, so good. I I really enjoyed the Barolo. That one was that one was my favorite. They're fantastic. I think I sent. Yeah, I sent Shayla. I think the Barolo cask. So we'll get to that one sometime in the next month. Yay. I'm just catching them on the chat and. James Morgan is asking about whether I normally like the, and honestly, I knew I liked Ardbeg 10 and Ardbeg Oogie Laforig regular, like not as much as Ardbeg kind of thing. But other than that, it's like, I don't know, I never really explored scotch because I knew I didn't like the malted, you know, the, the where you're not hiding the malt flavor. Right. But I'm pretty excited to find out that, like, I just really like Pete. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sorry, See, and that's why I approached her about doing this. I said, hey, uh, you know, I, I know you, you mentioned in the comments you like the Oogie. And I said, how would you like to try a bunch of Pete to finish? It's great. And so, this is, I say yeah. so far, this has been a great win. 
Yeah, this has been a huge win for me, and I think a double win for Nick. Because yeah, Nick's going to be like, like, yes, this is so amazing. Yeah, he wants an excuse to buy more scotch, and I'm like, why are you wasting money on scotch when we could buy bourbon? And I'm not like, yeah, <laughs> now, I just, now I just doubled your, your whiskey bill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we may have a problem. <laughs> There's our buddy Marty over at Whiskey Nose. Got and checked out Whiskey Nose. Check out his channel. Hey, Marty and Jimmy. Coming home on the, uh, the final stretch here, Matt. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to go to the Freud of the Karchus. This is the Port and Wine cast from 2020. So, yeah, I'm just going to hit you with the really big stuff now. All right. Oh, this one is... Oh, oh I'm excited. Will is really excited, so I'm, I'm getting really excited. <laughs> yeah, 52%. Just, uh, yeah, these are released once a year, and they're always really freaking good. Oh, you said the Lafro Yes, okay. I don't know if I'm yelling. I'm sorry. Um, that was fun. I am really excited to try this one, though, because we've heard about this. We've seen y'all review in the past. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's another night. We can have Karchus night one night. Woohoo! Okay. Best Okay. I'm going to put this in my awesome Women of Whiskey's glass. There you go. Can't really tell. But Sarah knows what's up. Hey, yes, for sure. Going. Michelle is actually in the chat now. Uh, I'm gonna see her in huh? We're gonna have like a mini Utah thing because she, she's in Idaho, so she's coming down in June. Oh yeah, it's yeah. not a far right. drive at all. Yeah, exactly. So, and I think Mike Stahl, uh, who's from Lifewire Whiskey, is gonna try Very and nice. come down. He's in Colorado. So and Mr. Whiskey cool. Shits is in Utah. He lives like within walking distance of my apartment. <laughs> oh, oh wow, that's awesome. Yeah, so kind of. Oh nice. Thank you. So, if um, Stephen knows, I'll convert you to Scotch. I've done a, I've done a very good job with many people. Stephen knows um, he came here. I think all Stephen really had prior here was bourbon. We've made him a big Irish and Scotch fan. Now. <laughs> oh really? Do, and oh, like yeah, he's a big Scotch. Of Bach I'm just kind of like the rest all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so confused with the idea, though, of, like, I don't know, converting into malt. Uh, well, you're clearly already there with Pete, so. I like Pete. So that's all that matters. Hey, if you're just if you only drinking Pete and Scotch, you're, you're just called winning. Okay, that's that's all that matters. <laughs> I, Unless yeah. you try to go to a bar Ooh. in Texas and order something that's Peated, because they probably have one choice for you. Well, let's go to Ron's, where they have lots and lots of Peated. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's your prerogative. Oh, I can't wait. So we got to go sometime soon. We can go over there and film with them because they're so, ready to film. Have you gotten to the palette yet? Because the the palette is a shocker to me. Yeah, no, the breath's getting bad at this point. <laughs> you need like a wall of you know some kind of plastic divider whenever he need drinks. COVID yeah. wall. What they put up in all the fancy glass things they have at the grocery store in front of you. <laughs> I'm sure you can get them on sale now. <laughs> Can, They're I everywhere. Talk, I can talk to you like this. Put your fucking mask on. <laughs> Put foot on your mask. <laughs> I got to go to work today without a mask for the first, like, at least not wearing it in work. That was amazing. That is amazing. Oh, Thankfully, crazy. I work at home. I don't care. Thank I'm still God. working at home, too. Yeah. I'm never going back to an office ever again. Fuck all you assholes. <laughs> well, it's hard to do my experiments. Yeah. So you don't have a choice. But I meant yeah. as far as, like, jobs for me. I'm like, yeah, I can find another job that works at home. Yeah I, yeah, I refuse to ever go back in an office for accounting ever again because that's yeah. stupid. Yeah. Seriously, like everybody's adapted so well. Why don't you just save on building space? Exactly, it makes no oh, sense. No. You it's save so much on overhead. overhead. Yeah, I yes. feel like a lot of companies are going to switch to this. Totally, it's stupid yeah. not to. Like now, yeah, like in your case, yeah, it makes sense. You have yeah. to have a place to go for your experiments. Yeah. But yeah, for an accountant, there's no reason oh. to have a space for an accountant. It's yeah. a computer. It's dumb. Everything I do is back end, and I don't have to, have to talk to customers on the phone or in person. What the fuck does it matter? I give up my desk. Hey, I love working at my bar, Jim, and it's great. Every day is a great day working around the bar. <laughs> Let me yeah. tell you. And my dining room table is also covered in, in whiskey, so it doesn't matter. No matter where I'm working, it's covered in whiskey. Everywhere. Except for... Except for like the downstairs living room. Yeah, that doesn't have any whiskey in it. That's true. There's no whiskey in the living room. The kitchen only has a couple of bottles. <laughs> well, and those are ones that you like, you're going to sip on those. 
Like Will yeah. is watching my face go through this set <laughs> <laughs> and getting all excited. Stop shaking the table. That was hilarious. So, so you love like, you feel me, right? You know what I'm saying. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I know what you're saying. Um, this is like a rush of peat. It, you don't smell it on the nose. Like you, after smelling all of these. Yeah, that's the other to thing. Her, I mean, I definitely. To oh. her, this smells like absolute ass. Like right. this is the worst that we've gotten to so far. But to me on the nose, so this good. is pretty and floral and it is. pretty and fragrant and, and yeah, just really nice. Berries. It's beautiful. And then that's you good. sip it and it's like, oh, here comes the freight train of peat. That's yeah, right. That's baby. Just barreling yeah. down at your palate. Just. Yeah. And don't worry, Jim. There, there's a big thing coming that we, that is within a few months that is hammering home hard on right now. Mm. How long see this? Some really, really cool shit's coming. Hey. So, so cool. Where's our Patreon? It's coming. Eventually. My, my bigger thing is more important than this other thing. It's going to make a lot more money than that. That's that's so true. I I'm, I will get to that. When I'm not it'll working, help the Patreon thing. too, Matt. You've been saying or, that. I mean, it'll help the it'll help the business too, man. I know. I've been saying that Perfect. since COVID. I'm busy. We'll Started <laughs> before that. Before that, it was November before then. That's right. All right. How oh, about I got to dump this? Hang on. I don't want to dump this yet. Well, don't dump it. Just put another glass out. I was gonna say. I'm glad I put this in my women of whiskey's glass, so I can easily tell. Like you are Lafroy. I want to come back to you. Have that class. I'm going to go back to this compass box. It's been sitting here for a little while. It's been about 30 minutes now. It's going to what be my final four. What proof is that compass box, Sarah? Uh, 53. Oh, that's the regular. That's the other one. Yeah, yeah. 53%. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I figured not proof because oh, yeah. yeah. that'd be just sad. <laughs> yeah. Depressing. <laughs> I've, I, I, th I think this. Yeah, this is gonna be my last pour. I'm gonna sit here and sip on this one until we're done. Cause <laughs> that's right, Jason. You're right, <laughs> dude. I mean, Jason, that ready. is like <laughs> spot fucking on. Like it is almost ready. But if I don't do it right, it won't be right. Jason, it's been almost ready for like 15 months now. <laughs> Kiloman, Kiloman, Madeira cast finish. I love that you're being such a perfectionist because I have like the world's shittiest Patreon where it's like, I don't know, pay things. I don't have time to give you good things in a return. Well, Girl, this is beyond perfectionist. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like, it's like, have you seen my yeah. animals with whiskey? I'm like, can you? Kilco even like, officially yes, started up his Patreon before Matt. Oh shit, fuck. I forgot. H. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, so this is the Joseph oh, like Loman, the Madeira cast. <laughs> That is a, it is a spec pick, but it is magical, magical whiskey. My my PhD advisor said that for my defense, he was just going to have to translate all of my shit fucks. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, so our kids can like run into his office and be like, shit fuck, this actually worked. And he's like, okay, but what worked? What are we talking about? <laughs> our, kid right, came out of, fuck, our kid came exactly. out of the room last night because we were laughing in the living room and he said, what the fuck is happening out here? It's a mighty Python joke. Seven. Right. Thanks, William. He gets real. He still tells us he's just appreciate it. If that, if that helps. Yes. Don't worry. What the fuck is happening out here? We could do a giveaway of some amazing Peter Scotch, too. Mm hmm. Oh, oh, Scorch, dude. Scorch is so uh, good. Steven, Steven, is that this special thingy release. Black the Jamar Scorch. Okay. Oh, oh, yes. Alligator and compared to Scorch. Actually, we compared that over Liquor Hound's house. Scorch is better. Um, Steven T. Scorch is my favorite release I've ever tasted. Like any of the beauty releases. Bless I'm you. sorry. Fuck off. Ooh, unleash 14. I'm drinking the not. um Scotch for life. Yeah, baby. Compass box. Compass box. I know that. Hedonism felicitas. Hedonism, yeah, it's the felicitas part that I hey, can't man. really read here. It's the oh, hedonism. Ben, and other bad. Hedonism. Hed 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 what he said. How many samples have you gone through that love? Seven <laughs> that I killed. Oh god. Um, yeah. Oh my god, it's so good. Eight. 
Yeah, yes, make, yeah, no, make Nick cover the sample, exactly. Oh, there it is. I just know that he's like dying right now, being like, I want to try all You can them. come have a sample. We should tell him to come join you with this one. Right? Ten. So, it's, this again, one is so The nose good. does not match the palate. The palate has so much more peat on it. Yeah, I gave this to Bart and Scott as oh, well. Really? They freaking love this. Yeah, we had the Fino that on, on Friday, too, but this one was clearly better. Yeah, this one doesn't smell, of course, um, God knows how many in. But it doesn't smell as peated like as the no Lafroig, I think. Um, we didn't pay anywhere near that. We paid half that William Double R. Mm -hmm. But ten. It is delicious if you find it for half that. Cologne is one of my favorites. You've had one more than me. Although you drank a lot more than I drank. Mine have been uh, okay. Okay. Well, I mean, yours. Have, this much is heavily I peated, so this be hard to do. I didn't dump shit. Tara needed to drink more because she had to deal with your peak breath. So thank you. That's true. There you go. Lurking. Yeah, hey, Ethan, how's it going? Good to see you. Love writing guests and wishes to bring on my job. <laughs> Thanks, Ethan. Appreciate it. <laughs> Maybe if I get all the taxes Cheers, done this weekend Ethan. for my clients, I can work on that. Cheers, Ethan. But I do have to do my clients' taxes since they're due by the 15th of June here because we had snowmageddon in Texas. So I have to finish. People that pay me money to do their taxes. Because people, that's what I get paid to do. Hell yeah. No, they just don't know how to do them. Oh. Okay, hush, Violet. Hey, right? Matt. Hey, Matt. Hmm. Well, this we're is more like right here. I feel like, like coming through at the end sort of thing. Like it's more like, you know, more. Similar to an unfinished peat, then whereas the other ones were that finished peat mm -hmm. that has that I don't know sweet roundedness. But I like I also really enjoy this. Yes, it doesn't taste now, as finished though as the others did. I guess there's another bottle of this that is completely matured only in Madeira mm -hmm. that is ungodly amazing. That is hidden. I have one. I have it. It's open. It's hidden away. I drink it very rarely because it's one of the best whiskeys I've ever had. Wow. In fact, it's the first thing that Daniel and uh, Andrew Harrison ha had to get in an argument. What was the better Coloman? Which I was like, I'll try them both. I'm not going to say no. It was me and them and the Licorice Brothers and Carl Ivy and my wife. And they had to, they had to have a, uh, a basically a scotch off to see which ones we like better, which I was thrilled about. <laughs> so, yeah, oh, fantastic. Yeah. Hey, uh, hey, Matt. Hmm. Can you fill us in on what's going on on Monday? Do we know yet? On Monday for what? For the, for this coming Monday? Yeah. We're going to have a uh, Memorial Day hangout. Just to hang out. Just to hang out because it's Memorial Day. It's Memorial Day. Excellent. It's yeah. sounds good to me. Yeah, it's Memorial Day. The I day we celebrate the people that died as heroes in this country. What day? Monday. <laughs> it's funny because all the emails about Memorial Day sales had me confused because we don't. Like, I, like we don't normally do the holidays off or whatever at work. So it's like, mm. oh, is this weekend Memorial Day or is next weekend Memorial Day? I, like, I had to Google. I was like, oh, I guess it's this Monday. Because all the time I just show up to work and it's like, the parking lot is empty. Why is the parking lot empty? Oops. Do I should go back <laughs> home. <laughs> right, you know, you have a cash yeah. in the Mockier Bay? Ooh, Ooh. I have not had that. That sounds awesome. I have not Except had that, like, actually. It, that's not to say that work is like, crazy is just if you're not great at planning and your experiments require you have to be there on monday to do the next step it's like oh i never realized i was supposed to take today off i was like oh well i can't change it now i'll try to make up for it but then i randomly take you know wednesday off and go for a hike so yeah, I, I, I got pretty lucky i work for a bank so we get everything off yep. yeah if it's any kind of holiday yeah. we get it off yeah. Ours is literally, I just like don't know. I mean, Christmas, I take very seriously. So. Right, right, right. <laughs> um, Eric, our time is always nine o'clock. Tonight was kind of a fluke because things got a little bit behind from Matt, but our time is always nine o'clock central. Every Monday, Count Monday on night. Us to be on YouTube. Has been for like two years. Yeah, yeah we, have, we haven't watch. missed one yet. <laughs> I did not do this to them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know. And sometimes it's not all of us. Sometimes it's just Matt. Sometimes it's just Matt and William. Sometimes it's three of us. But we're somebody's always here on Monday. On. Nick, thank you, for Matt and Sir Will, for having Whiskey Mountains on. You all have a whole new world of people, and thank you. You're welcome, Nick. Cheers, uh, Nick. You're very welcome. And like I said, there's, there's six other special whiskeys in there too. I think you're really gonna like as well. 
the other ones that, that are not for tonight. Except it's not a Muppet. It's, uh, it's, it's from uh, uh, Labyrinth. It's from Labyrinth. It is. Yes. At least it looks like one of the, the, the puppets from Matt. Nick, from, is, from... Your, is, is his thing from the Labyrinth? That's awesome. No, it's it's from Star Wars. Actually. Star Wars. It's, it's the little, like, little yeah. creatures. It, uh, okay. It's so small. It's a oh, little go. angry creature that gets, you know, a bite the on uh, Java's tail. Yeah. Oh. Gotcha. I mean, it's when it's so small like that, it looks like it's a one of the labyrinth guys. It does. Yeah, yeah. Although it's still it's still uh, created by Jim Henson. Yeah, Jim Henson. True. To valid point. Yeah. Valid point. Yeah, yes, we're we a really bunch of nerds. So. <laughs> the fact that we know that's from Star Wars. <laughs> yep, we know his name. When I when I started dating Nick, I realized. As much of a Trekkie as I am, I was gonna have to embrace Star Wars a bit more than I already had. So. Nah, -uh. <laughs> you need to go on with uh, Bart and Scott. They're huge Star Wars guys. They're awesome. Oh, Bart and Scott are. Oh my gosh, they, and they're like like they have all the toys and everything, like tons and tons. Of, apparently, we, so we found out on Friday night. Apparently, Robert is also a huge Star Wars. He has like original original toys. That uh, was fortune. So uh, yeah, it's we had a really fun time talking about Star Wars toys and police stories on a Friday night. It was great. See, Scott Down Under and Kilco are like my buddies because they're both Trekkies. Scott mm. Down Under has actually started a full on whiskey trek. That's fun. We just hang out. I, I've actually wanted to join a couple of those streams because I'm a Trekkie myself. You I mean, yeah, you both though. I am. You're both okay. though. That's I'm my both I like both a lot. I just like for me, Star Trek edges forward. Just, for Nick, Star Wars edges forward. And see, oh. mine's the other way around. And I was brought up with a mother and grandfather that were Trekkies. My mm -hmm. grandfather read read all the books. Oh. He had all the, oh, the freaking movies recorded on VHS because this was back in the day, guys. Mm. I'm on 39. All our Star Wars are on VHS. See, I always thought that you either could like Star Wars or like Star Trek. Mm -hmm. And I knew I liked Star Wars, so I didn't even watch Star Trek until I was older. Oh, no. no. So I'm just Star now Wars. going through the different Star Trek series and getting you know to know all the different Star Trek series. So so All right, so we're pouring the last thing. All right, this is one of my favorite things. I've this ever is had Black Adder Pete Reed and Raw Cast. This is a 10 year Sterry Cast finish. This is 116.2 proof. This is a beautiful, beautiful thing. This is from, uh, from September of 2017. And as you can see, which I don't know if in your sample you can see this or not. But there are floaties all in there, and it's beautiful. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I can see that. Yeah, there's big black chunks of raw actual cask in there, and it's beautiful. You yeah. might, you may or may not have gotten any in your. Yeah, I don't know when it got poured if there's any in there or not, but yeah. there's tons of them in here. Star Wars is like bourbon. When you grow up, you appreciate scotch and Star Trek. <laughs> no, I'm not even <laughs> going to go there. Down under? I appreciate them. That was top shelf, Dustin. That was Dustin. <laughs> I appreciate them I both for their different sides of the. Um, what is it Coin. called? Yeah, I mean, they both have their good things about them. I just Star lean Trek. more in the Star Trek way, or Star Wars way. Um, I, I have have more issue or I have more um, memories of watching Star Wars as a kid than I do as watching Star Trek. Agreed. And I have more memories of watching Star Trek as an adult than I do as watch. You know? I do too. I, I think that's a big part of the amazing. bias, though. Like. Huh? That's that's such a big part of the bias that because for me, I grew up watching mm. Star Trek as a kid with my dad. We would play Star Trek, you know, like any car ride. I was data as like the helmsman sort of thing. Like, oh, that's so fun. Like, yeah, like and my dad used to he fixed machines. So what he would do is bring home like pieces of machines. And so mm. then we would just like set them up so that they were like all the buttons and whatever. And I could pretend or I was Guinan, the bartender, and I would make him whiskey sours. That's nice. Awesome. So, hence my my actual bar sign is Ten Dragon. Nice. And my, my dad made the sign for me, and it's yeah. ten, is cool. ten forward from Star Trek, and then Green Dragon from The Hobbit slash Lord of the Rings. There you go. That's How about awesome. Battle Star Galactica or Stargate? Stephen T. I'm just gonna. Choice. I'm just gonna throw it all out there. I I prefer Harry Potter to both of them. So, <laughs> I mean. Oh. 
Oh, that's hard. I feel like they're so di like for me. I'm so they're different, totally different genres. But yeah, yeah. I, mean, I love Harry Potter though. Like, and I just got Nick to finally listen to all of, like the audiobooks of all the yeah. Harry Potters. Nice. The books are so much better. The books so are so much better. better. I will Nick, give you that. He was and, not that into books, and then he would watched all the movies, and he finally listened to those books, and he's like you get so much more story. And now like I understand so much more about the movies and I'm like, welcome to the world of books. Uh, <laughs> yeah, books are so much better, always better. Yeah. Like they could have made um, the last book into three movies instead of two. Easily. I agree. Answer that question real quick. I'm pretty sure you got it's, the wee beastie. It's, Freud. it's not our big. Oh, he could have gotten the wee beastie. No, he want he says his bartender suggested that he had this at the raw cask. The raw cask is Lafroig. Oh, right. You know that for a fact. That's what it is. Okay. Gotcha. So, what are you thinking on the nose on this one? Black. I'm ready for this. I'm excited about this raw cask Irish whiskey is at La Quinta this year, coming from Wheels. Hell yeah, that's gonna be amazing. On the nose, I'm not getting a lot of peat. I'm just getting like a sweet fruitiness. Like, really? still like a smoked fruit, like a smoked fruit. So I'm still getting okay. some fruit, but like, like think, for sure, I there's think you've gone nose blind. Yeah, I think there's that, but like the oh, smoked yeah. fruit is kind of what comes through more for me. Mm. I can I can understand that it is a it is a smoked fruitiness. Mm? Smoke is very dominant to me on the nose. Yeah, I'm probably just going nose blind. And I'm getting uh, this smoke. Is, I'm, I'm like, like, I get it, but not as strongly. Well, good. She'll taste it and. Problem will be solved. If you if you try to focus in on iodine and like rubber, both burning and uh, hospital grade, can you can you maybe I find be, that? I walk through the hospital every day to get to work. Maybe I'm freaking hospital blind. I get I get, I get I iodine and just like clean hospital. Rubber sterile hurt. gloves. <laughs> I think my nose is dead. I think I'm it's possible. We've, yeah, we've I'm probably much blown your smoke. palate out pretty well tonight. Yeah. Smoky sweet fruit. Trying to catch up with all these uh, comments going on here. Holy shit. Oh, and then there's the palate. Boom. Shot it's of glorious. What I want to call your thing, Will, is the cool whip. Because in Home Alone... Ooh. He has like the little guy dancing or whatever, and he's like, <laughs> the cool whip. That's my, you know, my wasting time move. <laughs> it's well, that's why I'm, I'm sipping. And if I'm really enjoying it, I'm probably going to get my arms pumping a little bit. If I'm really enjoying it, the arms go high, and then my hand goes on my neck. <laughs> that's a telltale sign that I fucking loved it. See, for me, it's like I'll just start to shimmy to myself. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of like that for me. I just kind of got, got to so move. Okay. It's got like more arm movement in it, and it becomes the cool whip. Before you take that, oh no, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> I'm like, wait. <laughs> no, no, take it. Uh, on tomorrow's episode, what do we have coming out tomorrow, Matt? We have. Uh, I've already forgotten what I've added. Blood oath. Blood oath. Blood oath. Right. Number seven. Number seven. Pack seven. Number number seven. Then. That'll be still Austin's cash strain. Mm -hmm. Both Look at that reaction she's got going on. She's like, holy crap, living that peak life. Oh, man, still lost in cash strength. That's the shit. That's coming it's up really on good. Thursday, folks. Watch the video, but I'm going to tell you right now, it's the shit. And that's the correct use of the word. <laughs> Not the bad. I have a flavor the wheel here. That's what I keep staring down at. <laughs> flavor wheel? Oh, okay, nice. What is this? <laughs> I'm getting and it's one I never use because it's like more scotch based. So I'm like, oh, I finally have a purpose. There you go. It. it has a purpose. There you go. But there's it's... so much smoke on the palate on this one. Yeah. It's so good. What's the proof on it? It's like, like 116.2. Um... Okay. Yeah. Because it's like a spicier smoke. Yes. Sort of Agreed. Agreed. Yeah, it's like grilled yeah, pineapples. It's, it's quite good. It's coming through. Yeah. Oh yeah, Stephen, it just came out. Yeah, you want to get a bottle that's still awesome. Yeah. Pick you're that you're gonna want to pick yourself up some. You're gonna want to get that. So, also, <gasps> Donald has just dropped the link for the Discord. If you are not part of the Discord and you want to continue the chat or you want to chat whenever with several YouTube channels, 
and just right. several awesome people and just several awesome people. Yeah. You, you can reach the YouTube channels. There's a lot of main YouTube channels in there, but there's just a lot of awesome whiskey people in there as well. Click that link, come and join us, have some fun. Um, as I like to say, there's typically always someone up, no matter what time of the day or night you are in, there is somebody up. What, yeah, Jason Coates is probably going to be in there in the middle of the night. It's pretty much a guarantee. Huh? Jason Coates? Jason Coates will be in the middle of the night for you. Shooting the shit. Go on in there. Join us. Ah, it's still on ride. I got that too. Come to the dark side. We have whiskeys. That's right. Yeah, it's pretty much. We will not help your wallet, though. We're sorry. We will cost you money, but you will have a good time. Yes. I will definitely second that. Um, there have been other sev several other links that have been posted throughout the chat tonight. Um, if Make sure the, you check them all out. Yeah, check them all out. Or if Donald, you're <laughs> awesome with the links, if you want to drop them again, drop Whiskey Mountains. Uh, Adriana's, say it right. Adriana. Adriana's the link. Check her out if you haven't already. Mm -hmm. um, again, we are having Ladies Night on Sunday, May 30th at 8 p.m. Central. Talking about Campfire Whiskey's and Ard Big Day. Come and join us. It's always a good time. That's going to be over on the... That's going to be over on Whiskey and Lipstick YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. um, and again, the, the Discord, hit it up, join us. You can always find other links in there too. Yep. Yes. Yeah. For Memorial Day, we'll have some really good shit. We'll, we'll do a. How about we do a fun giveaway for Memorial Day? We'll do some fun super chat gives away. We'll put some really good shit in there for Memorial Day. I'll find right. some fun thing for it. So if you didn't catch that, because it broke up a little bit on my end, I'm not sure. If mm. Everybody else, there will be a Memorial Day giveaway. Come join us mm -hmm. Monday. Monday. This Monday, coming Monday, Monday, as always, 9 p.m., unless Matt has shit that happens during the day. <laughs> and we'll be well, next week because it's Memorial Day and we're cl everything's closed. Yeah. That's true. That is true. Um, oh, I love this. Not everything, but most things are close to Memorial Day. Most things are close. Thank you. I need a day off. Um, Don't we all? There is Adriana, Whiskey Mountains. There is Whiskey and Lipstick. Join us. Mm. William's having a whiskey gasm. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys are too. Mm -hmm. That's all I got. I'm, I'm trying the blend. It's like the most that's Oh, yeah. I'm How's good. the blend? It's delicious. I finished most of mine. I only have a little bit of blend. I I'm drank now, the rest. They were delicious. I'm now extremely curious to take like a peated whiskey campaign. You should, oh, I, you should totally do it. You, you'll right? have a great time. It's From what I hear, go good around the campfire. It will. Yeah. Well, because I was going to take High West Campfire. Oh, so campfire. good. Well, I mean, there you go. Oh, Save that for Monday yeah. and come drink with us. So. Sunday. 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 Right. Yeah. Yeah. So Sunday. 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 Hop on in the chat and come drink with us. Yeah. Blend is things. not nearly as good as the Black Adder is by itself. Also, I just want to throw it in there. If there's any ladies in the chat that haven't already joined, Women of Whiskey over on Facebook, we do have our own Facebook page, No Men Allowed. If Donald could be so awesome as I know you are to throw that link you in. You're going to get sued have saying it. that. Huh? You're going to get sued saying that. What? What is? No else? Men Allowed. In today's day and age, you'll get sued for stupid shit like no that. No fucking men allowed. Yeah. That good. Talk to the lawyers. <laughs> yeah, I will talk to you all day long and let you know how I feel. No men allowed. It's um, not a business, so it's okay. It's legal. It's not a business. It's just a fucking Facebook page. People get in a shape of stupid shit all the time. Huh? You can have a People social group. Sure. Stupid shit all the time. You can have a social group that's gender specific. That's right. I didn't catch what you said, Adriana. I said you can have a social group that's gender specific. I yeah. Yeah. Yeah, fucking try and stop us. <laughs> anyway, if that gender is the minority in that freaking realm, which women are in whiskey. So everybody can uh, her off. We got our own group. <laughs> Donald does not have Facebook. Um, Michelle, oh, yeah. are you still in here? I will I will find it. Don't worry. I don't have Facebook and I don't give a shit. I just think it's funny. 
I don't either. I deleted my Facebook like I last hate Facebook. I hate April. that fucking asshole. I, I deleted my Facebook dies. last April and I haven't gone back on it. And I'm really, I'm a, I feel like I'm a better person for I it. I feel like I'm definitely better for never having that shit because he's a fucking piece of shit and I hate that guy. <laughs> he's a fucking asshole. Zuckerberg should fucking die. And now we <laughs> devolve that. into a social media. And now we've gotten into our feelings. Cheers, it's everybody. Fine. Go. Don't worry. They have banned me anyway and it's fine. <laughs> I just dropped the link. I didn't label it, but it's from me. It's Women of Whiskey's Facebook group. If you're interested and you haven't joined already, come on over. We and you're a lady. And you're a lady. You I will to meet stress the, it again. You have to meet all the qualifications. You can't have a penis, apparently. I no, enjoy no. Discord. Yeah. Well, unless you're unless you're Caitlyn Jenner, then it's okay. You can have a chop a dick to me. You can you can hang out. It's fine. Form, formal women that are now <laughs> identifying as women are now women. <laughs> That's a whole other discussion. Uh, right. Michelle Lynn, uh, Women of Whiskey, also on Instagram. Oh, uh, good. We'll have Crowder night. It'll be great. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Push the button. Bye -bye. Have a good night. <laughs>